Hey there stampers and crafters, thanks for joining me today. I'm Tammy from stampwithtammy.com and today I'm going to be sharing with you two videos. It's a two part series for a blog hop project set. This super stinking cute project. It's a pilgrim card in a box. If you're not familiar with what a blog hop is, it is when a group of people get together with a common theme and we each make a really cool project for that theme and then you just click on the links, the, the next and previous buttons on my blog and you'll go to see everybody else's blog and my demonstrator group that made projects for this hop. And their projects are awesome. You're not going to want to miss them. I have two videos to share. This will be part one which is the pilgrim card. Stinking cute, right? You're going to love this. And the little tips on how to make this faux leather belt as well as how to get these little black buttons when you've run out of black candy dots. Super cool tips. All right, let's get started. Are you loving these? So flippin' adorable. So for part one, which is this video, I'm going to show you how to make this really stinking cute card and a faux leather technique for the belt. Got to have a leather belt. Stay tuned for part two where I'm going to show you how to make the matching box. All of these supplies are available in my online store at the stampwithtammy.com blog simply by going to this URL or clicking in the link in the description below. I'll have all of the measurements there and all the supplies that I used. Quick and easy to find all the information. And if you're on YouTube, you can click right on this video and go right to this sets project page. For our card base, I've got some Stampin' Up Soft suede. Just going to fold a half a sheet of cardstock in half here and for dramatic effect we'll be taking early espresso ink and a stampin sponge and just sponging the edges gives it a little pow and next we're going to work on his little pilgrim collar using some very vanilla cardstock the squares collection framelit dies from stampin up i'm using the scallop square got the sizzix big shot die cut machine multi-purpose cutting platform on type 2 which is closed or if you have a magnetic platform I highly recommend using it. Mine is not handy so I'm using this one and wishing I had the magnetic platform. One cutting pad on top, your vanilla cardstock, line up your frame, cutting pad sandwich with the second cutting pad over and run it through. And pop goes our scallop square. Next I'm going to cut this at about two and a quarter which is just about halfway doesn't have to be exact but I think that almost was actually that was not bad <laughs> okay so this is going to go like so kind of layer just like that so I've taken some snail adhesive and drawn an X on the back side bottom and then just line that up and take your scissors and trim off the excess. Now I do have a lot of excess here. You probably don't need the full square if you're um, if you're really frugal with your cardstock. You can get away with maybe doing um, less than a full square, but I just thought it was easier just to do the whole thing. So this is Stampin' Up's Early Espresso Cotton Ribbon. If you are watching my breast cancer booby box video that I did last week, um, we're actually doing the exact same thing with the ribbon here that we did with the ribbon of hope on that. And that is simply folding it in half and putting just a little bit of adhesive in the fold. Just stick a mini glue dot right to the middle-ish and then just fold it in half. And then you have his little tie. I'm sure that's called something. Do you guys know what that's called? The little pilgrim's little tie there? I want to call it the little pilgrim's little tie there. <laughs> and then a glue dot sticks that to the center of his little collar. Let me trim it up a little show bit. You, now I'm going to show you a really cool technique for his belt. This uses um, the bone folder and the strip of basic black cardstock and we are just going to loosen up the fibers on this basic black cardstock and so, until it is so loose it is practically splitting in the middle and I'll show you what I mean by that. Okay so I, I really kind of work this I really kind of worked one of these corners good after I loosened it up all over and got it to split in half. Look at that, right? And the inside, when you split it in half, just looks like leather, looks like a suede leather. So very cool. So you can kind of get two in one there. Little adhesive on the back, adheres it to the card. And then I've got a square of crushed curry. This is where the Stampin' Up! color family comes in awesome. Taking the matching crushed curry ink and a sponge 
and sponging the edge of this belt buckle to give it some for dramatic effect. And then just some snail adhesive sticks that over the belt. And then loosened up the fibers on this little square. Did the exact same thing as I did with the belt to make the insert to the belt. Just split it in the middle and this one didn't tear apart quite as easily, but that's okay. It still looks cool. And that sticks right in the center of our belt buckle so it look it gives it the illusion that the belt is going through the buckle and now i want to show you something really cool about these buttons so these are stampin up candy dots and what i found was that i wanted to make a few of these boxes and card sets i actually wanted to make a few of the boxes for the thanksgiving table but i ran out of black after a while so i took my little sharpie and colored some of the other colors to make them black <laughs> And they actually got a really cool sheen to them when I did that. And they just worked perfectly as his little buttons. <laughs> Perfect, isn't it? And that is part one of my two-part series on this Pilgrim Thanksgiving set. Stinking cute. Stay tuned. Part two, which is how to make this really cool little treat box that I'm putting on my Thanksgiving tables. All right, thanks for joining me.